In this video, we are going to tell you how to install and start your laser machine. The Watson 6040 is used as an example. We will need the following tools. A big slotted screwdriver or pry bar. A Phillips or PosiDrive screwdriver. Firstly, unscrew the screws from the top cover of the box and remove it. With the pry bar, remove clinches from the front of the cover. The complete set includes keys that hang from the head, a triangular one to open the slide, rear, and front panels of the machine, and a regular one to power up the laser tube. Also, there is a piece of acrylic. It is a sample for setting up the focus distance. A silver corrugated pipe. It is needed to connect the built-in exhaust system. A honeycomb table. a ground cable, a metal clamping band for the exhaust. It is needed to attach the sheet metal duct, silicon hoses, two for the cooling system of the laser tube and one for air supply, i.e. to connect air compressor to the machine, a blue bag, an air compressor. It is indispensable for the machine since it is used to pump air into the cutting zone and to protect the focus lens from soot or carbon deposit. A water pump. It is not intended for continuous operation of powerful laser tubes. The water pump is mostly used to check the machine and the laser tube. If there is no chiller, it can be placed in container with water to substitute it. The blue bag contains hex wrench set, a USB drive with software, a power cable, a tube with sealer, a USB cable to connect the machine to the computer, a machine certificate contains information about machine's installation and operation. Slide the corrugated pipe onto the flange located on the rear panel of the machine. Do not forget to hook up the sheet metal duct preliminary. With a screwdriver, screw a clamping band and fix an air duct on the flange. Installing the laser tube, Lesia 80 Watt. To install the laser tube, open the top rear cover where the bay for laser tubes is. Remove with latches. Open laser tube fasteners and draw them aside. Place the laser tube in special clamping. Pay attention to the sticker on the laser tube, this side up. This side should be set up for the bubbles to come out. The tubes come with two cables, anodic and cathodic. For the Yongli and the Lesia laser tubes, you should solder them. The Reki laser tube is easier and you just should fasten it to a screw nail. Solder and insulate. The positive anodotic or red cable should be properly insulated using special things. Usually, high voltage sleeving kit is included in the complete set. On the video, you can see how it is heated up and sat from small to big diameters on the solder joint. If the sleeving kit is not included, you should insulate the junction point of red cables with a high voltage electrical tape and silicon hose. The edges of the hose can be sealed with sealer. The black cable can be insulated with either black sleeving from the kit or a black tape. Next, Connect the silicon hoses from the machine to the tube. Each hose lies near the edge it should be connected to. The junctions of the hose and the tube should be fastened with nylon clamps. Attach chiller and air compressor hoses. There are three hoses, 
And at the rear side of the machine, there are three couplings. One of them is for water outlet from the machine. The other one for water inlet into the machine. You should connect them to the chiller in reverse. The machine's outlet goes to the chiller's inlet and vice versa. Connect hoses and fasten with clamps. Do the same with a hose that connects the air compressor. One end goes to the coupling and the other to the compressor. Connect the compressor to a special socket located on the right side of the machine next to where we connect the power supply. Turn on the machine. Switch on the chiller and the laser tube is filled with water. For the chiller, use distilled water only with no other components. As the tube is filled with water, make sure there are no bubbles inside. Any bubble inside the tube can cause the tube to crack and fail permanently due to temperature differences. When turning on, the machine's axes will move toward end sensors in order to detect position of the laser head on the working area. Do not prevent the machine from doing this procedure. If the process is accompanied by unusual sounds and noises, contact your supplier. Checking for air. Next, you should make sure that there is laser radiation. To do this, put a piece of plywood under the laser head and press pulse. Check whether there is a puncture at the junction of red wires and if the beam comes out and the tube is working properly. An optical path might not be aligned. Then stick a masking tape on the frame of the first mirror and make a short pulse at low power to prevent the paper from catching fire. We recommend sticking the tape in several layers to lower the risk of ignition. Be careful and ready to put out the paper in case of fire. After that, we make alignment. Alignment is necessary for laser radiation to equally affect the material at any place of the working area. Wherever the laser head is, the laser beam should come to the same place, i.e. to the center of the hole on the laser head. Alignment is completed. Connect the computer and install RDWorks software. Setting up of the RDWorks. Run the RDWorks setup file. Press Install. Install the program. Installation is finished. An icon appears at the desktop. The other end of the cable should be connected to your computer. Press Install USB Driver. The driver is successfully installed and you can close the installation window. Run the RD Works. The first thing you should check is whether the USB port works and all drivers have been installed. To check it, open Setting, press Modify, and then Test. Port test success means that the computer is connected to the machine. Everything is okay. Check Model. It should be the same as is installed on the machine. Currently, it is RDC 6445, but an older or more updated version is also possible. Everything works install the model. Thus, the program setting up is finished. Enter config system setting and press the button reset on the controller. Check where the laser head traveled. 
In our case, it went to the upper right corner. Accordingly, as homing position, we choose the upper right corner. The compliance is achieved. Make sure that blue arrows move to the upper right corner. It means that everything operates correctly and you can start work. Run some tests on different materials and make sure that both cutting and engraving are done properly. Congratulations, the machine is set up.